Alright, resume your position. I have to resume my position. Sorry, that was a little bit funny. Paul and I are going to head out and run some errands and we're going back to the salvage yard that I went to in a previous episode and this time we're going to make some purchases. He's looking for a glove box and I'm going back to buy some knobs and uh, some other little parts that I saw before for the step band so hopefully I'll be able to have the tools to take those off and pull those off of the step band there. This is my first time in a salvage yard and uh, Paul over here is educating me and he has found a little glove box compartment for the doghouse on his van so he's got a set of tools he's pulling that apart and then uh, we saw some step vans over on the other side of the yard we're going to go check those out and see uh, if there's any pieces and parts i have my giant hat here to protect me from the shade i'm going to go give paul a hand i found a couple of step vans here i'm going to check them out for some parts one of these this one here is a grumman olsen similar to what i have so hoping to score some stuff for that i'm looking for dashboard knobs i'm looking for jump seat i'm looking for a uh, oil pressure gauge um, a few other items i'll just have to see what i can find i think i scored these knobs are very very similar to what i have in my step van slightly different but uh, there's four of them here so i think i can get a set of four and replace what i have and i have four knobs pretty awesome these look really close to what i have on mine right now so this will be great they look like they're in good condition on this step van over here i found a knob on the back door right now i've been using a pair of vice grips on my vehicle so i'm gonna snag this little knob we're finishing up here at the salvage yard i got these uh, four knobs by the way i'm shooting all this video with my camera for the first time and it doesn't have the stabilization on it so we'll just have to see how it works out we're going to head back in pay for this stuff and head back to paul's place we finished up inside i spent a dollar and eight cents for four knobs they go for about 11 bucks a piece on ebay paul over here bought a glove box thing for his van for the doghouse and you paid what five five dollars five dollars and you said they're new how much were they oh i don't know what they, they cost a lot to yeah. buy from the dealer okay so we're gonna head back to paul's place and uh do some planning installing those today i'm using a little allen wrench to attach these they actually have two connection points on these here's one of them you can see that there's a connection on the back side right here and then there's a connection on the side so both of these use the allen wrench and you've got to tighten up both of them or at least one to get a secure connection to keep the knob on there here you can see both of the knobs the old one is pointier than the new one which is more rounded and this is the last knob here we go all done i think they look pretty good very close to what i had before last night we finished up attaching the new brake lines into the step van and today we need to bleed the brakes so we're setting up for that now and uh, hopefully it'll go smoothly all right i've got to fill this with some brake fluid here one reservoir is completely empty the other reservoir was about half full uh, that looks good actually I already filled it a little bit and then I forgot the camera so I had to go get the camera then do this okay we're gonna bleed the brakes here I'm gonna be the guy on the pedal and Paul is underneath giving me instructions all right Paul I'm ready all right pump it one two three four it's going down slowly. Down to the floor? Well, no, it's maybe halfway there. You're still going down? Yeah, slowly. Okay, I think it stopped. All right, pump it. All right, one, two, three, four. Holding. It's 
going down, going down, going down, going down, going down. That's that's it. Okay, we're gonna check the reservoir level, see how it's looking. Uh, it's down maybe half an inch. Well, that's it, okay. All right, we're good for now. We'll do it a few more times. Want me to check the back one or no, only the... No need to. Okay. All right, resume your position. I have to resume my position. Sorry, that was a little bit funny. All right, ready? When you're ready. One, two, three, four, holding. It's going down, down, down. Okay, bottom. We're gonna start it up and test things out. Not started this for several days, so hopefully the battery's still good. It's loud. What do you think? You get the doors open. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> you get the doghouse off too. Paul says, as far as we can tell, it's a success until we do the test drive. That's the real test. I'm sort of in his backyard, his shop yard here, so it's a little difficult to drive around. So tomorrow I'll have to take it out for a spin. Paul and I are curious to find out if the old brake lines have collapsed or not. So we're going to cut these things open and see what the insides look like. Okay, got these things open. All right, this is the one we suspect might be bad. So I'm gonna cut it uh, progressively along the hose. All right, so we think this is probably so we think these are probably not collapsed brake lines, that they all looked clear, maybe more constricted, but they're very, very brittle, so I'm still glad that we replaced them. They're 21 years old, and I think the rubber over all that time and the heat from the engine and everything underneath, just it's time to replace them. So I'm glad I did it, and I got to learn some stuff. So we'll see when it, there's test drive if there's still a sticky caliper. Unfortunately, after a test drive, there's still a sticky caliper. We were unable to solve that, but I have new brake lines. Happy about that. That's all I have for this episode. Savor the moment. Thank you for watching. See you next episode.